Columbus City Council says Columbus police will get body cameras before the end of 2016, but will they have the desired effect? Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, I'm Cabot Ray with Colleen Council President. Those cameras will help make sure that officers can do their job safely. The Fraternal Order of Police says it's concerned that the possible $10 million price tag won't be worth it for the few occasions that video proves useful and that the money could be better used elsewhere. There's already a test case for police body cameras right here in Central Ohio on a smaller scale. In Sunbury, officers there have been using them for more than two years. NBC Force Candace Lee spoke to their chief about how effective the cameras have been. Candace? Yeah, Colleen, you know, Chief Patrick Bennett with the Sunbury Police Department tells me those body cameras have made the difference, not only in helping them document crime scenes and traffic accidents, but also as a training tool for the young officers. This is one of eight body cameras worn by officers with Sunbury Police. It's actually, you know, it's kind of set it and forget it. Chief Patrick Bennett picked body cameras over installing new cruiser cameras just after the recession. And I wanted to, you know, invest and look in that technology to see, you know, if we could just bypass the car and go straight to the body. And, and we did some sample tests and, and found that it was, you know, very doable. Body cameras could cost more than $10 million for the city of Columbus to outfit Columbus police, but it is an investment council president Andrew Ginther believes is necessary. We felt like this was an additional step to a more comprehensive approach uh, to enhance uh, and protect the sacred trust that our officers have with this community. Chief Bennett says they chose the head-mounted cameras to get better views of crime scenes and traffic stops. They have proved invaluable when investigating crimes. We videotape basically a whole accident scene now, and uh, we use them for just about everything in, in our job. Even training officers. We try to use it, you know, as a, as a training guide, too, to go back and teach young officers, you know, where they should stand on a traffic stop. But not everyone is on board with body cameras for Columbus police officers. FOP Lodge 9 President Jason Pappas is concerned with not only cost, but also privacy for victims. I don't think that it makes officers any safer. I don't think that it makes the community any safer. I think officers react to the way that they're trained, and I think the citizens act the way that they think they should react to law enforcement. Chief Bennett admits his officers were a little hesitant at first, but says they now embrace the police tools of the future. As they got to use them and went out and did their job, now they won't work without them. Now, Council President Andrew Ginther says that Columbus police will have those body cameras by late 2016. Also, a committee of community members that will include police officers, faith leaders, and community uh, community. Uh, Neighborhood Association members will be at the table to just to discuss how best to implement that body camera program here in the city of Columbus. Reporting live from Columbus Police, he Police Headquarters, Candace Lee, NBC4. All right, Candace, and we want to hear what you think about the possibility of body cameras for the Columbus Police Department. Head to NBC4, the Facebook page, to let your voice be heard.